Good morning, Morgan Knoll here with TransWise Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We're located about 30 minutes north of Denver off I-25. I am bringing you an inventory item. It's going to be a 2021 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pole. Um, you can see it hooked up to this Chevy that Marlin's going to be going over when we're done here. This trailer is half ton compatible. So you've got an empty weight of 3,230 pounds. Um, so plenty of room to be able to pull it with smaller vehicles. But we'll go ahead and get started. So right up here on the tongue, you can see it hooked up to this truck. You've got the two and five sixteenth inch ball, your manual jack, and then your lights, your safety chains, all of that. Um, the jack does have this foot that goes on the bottom. We take this off while in motion. That way you have some more clearance underneath there. It's just a pin. I don't know if you guys can see how that, you know, pins together underneath on the jack. And then that way you can set the trailer down. So we just keep that here in the tack room door and the, br the brush box. I mean, you could put it in the bed of the truck, wherever you'd like. So right here on the door, you've got the 42 inch wide door. Um, just gives you some extra space to get in and out of there, be able to maneuver around. It's very convenient in my opinion. You'll see on the door you do have that window. You also have that brush box. And then we upgraded and put the step on here. So the step is going to help you be able to get in there easier without having to step up on the side rail. So it gives you a little closer to the ground and then it easily folds up when the door's shut. So right there in the trailer, you do have your saddle post and that is removable because you do have a collapsible rear tack. So if you wanted to put that back in the collapsible rear tack, you can take it out, put it back there, use this more for your show stuff, or we could even get you another, um, oh my gosh, saddle post that you could put in the rear tack. So then you'd have two places to tack out of. And those are adjustable so you can move them up and down you can remove them um, whatever you'd like to customize it to your liking on the partition wall we've got a bunch of bridle hooks with the carpet beneath it that carpet's going to help prevent any of the you know when the bridles are going down the road and the bridles are swaying back and forth they rub against that aluminum and scratch it up that carpet's going to help not get those scratches all over it and then in the corner there, you do have a 25 gallon water tank. So I like the water tank, fill it up from home. Some horses are picky. They don't like specific water where you're going, or if you're going camping, you have water with you and that way you're not having to find a stream or anything. And the other nice thing is if you do happen to get caught on the side of the road and you're sitting there for a while, you do have that water to be able to offer to your horses. So they're not going without any. And then right up against the front wall, you'll see your um, spare tire. <laughs> so that's there. If you end up getting a flat, got to change it. Full size spare tire. So over here on the hip side, you've got three ties. So all the way down, three on each side. So six total. And then you've got your bus windows. These push open about halfway. So bus windows push open, you can, you know, choose how much air you want going through. And then you can also shut them from the outside. So you're not having to get in there with the horses to shut them. Um, but the only way to lock them is from the inside. So being able to shut them from the outside, if you're going down the road and all of a sudden it starts raining really hard and you got to get those shut or something along those lines, you can shut it from the outside and you don't have to worry about taking horses out to get them shut. You've got an LED awning light. And those are super bright and those were on, but the truck must have automatically turned it off. Down below, you've got two 5,200 pound Dexter Torflex axles, your 16 inch aluminum wheels with your nitrogen filled tires. So all of our Cimarrons are coming with the nitrogen filled tires. That nitrogen is going to run cooler and it's going to keep your PSI steadier so you don't have as much fluctuation between them. Um, the other really nice thing is that you can, if you get a, a, you know, a slow leak on there and you've got to get some air in it to get to where you're going, you can put normal air in it. It's not going to hurt the tire or the nitrogen at all. Um, and then get it patched. You can refill it with nitrogen or you can go back to normal air. 
So over here on the rear, you've got the 60-40 door configuration with your collapsible rear tack. You've got another LED awning light up above, so you've got one on each side, so very bright, nice to have in the winter and in the cold, in the cold, in the dark is what I was going for there. <laughs> um, be able to light it up and see stuff. So this is a butt bar. This just brings down and that way that last horse is not backing out as soon as you get that door open. So you can get in there and untie them if you tie them up to be able to, you know, get in there without them having come and come back. So that just folds over to the side really nice. And then this collapsible rear tack, I'll show you how to collapse it down real quick. So all you gotta do is take these two pins. So there's one on the bottom and then I'm gonna come over to the side. One on the top. All you do is push that in and then push this to the side and this pins up in the corner over here and then that gives you that extra room if you don't want to use it get it out of the way if you've got something you've got to push into a trailer it makes it easier to get them in there too um, the other nice thing i like about those claps for rear tacks i was talking about how you could have two places to tack from or i know a lot of people use this as kind of like their wet slash dirty tack so your um your muck buckets, your pitchforks, you could add extra feed back here. There's so many different versatile options that it's really nice and convenient to have. Um, the other nice thing is that if we've got a trailer on the lot that doesn't have one of these and is something that you want, we can get one installed too. So up in here, you've got your two dividers. First one's going to be the stud stall. So full length stud stall. And then you do have an escape door on that front one. And these come back, push in. I love these Cimarron latches. They're just really easy to use, in my opinion. You just push against it, and then to get them out, you just pull. So those wiggly horses, you can get them in a lot easier than trying to pin something together. We don't currently have pads on these dividers, but we can get them installed here if that's something you're looking for. Um, we can do them on each side of the divider, and then we can do them on that front wall as well. You've got three LED lights, so more lights. We love lights. They make everything so much easier and so much better. Um, each stall comes with their own roof vent. Those roof vents push forward to suck air in, and then they push backwards to suck air out, and that just helps with the airflow, getting the airflow going through on those hot summer days. Um, it's just really convenient. No ramp on this one currently, but we can get a ramp installed um, if you guys wanted one. And then I'm going to show you real quick how these shut up and what this looks like from the rear. So I want you to see when I close this one how these latches go together. All doors have latch backs, so you can have that latch back, um, have it put on there, and then in the wind, you're not having a lot of, you know, playing the door and the door's not slamming shut on you. But this is how the doors work. So right down here, you'll see how it grabs into that little piece. So I don't know if you guys can see that pretty well, but it grabs in there on the top and the bottom and just ensures that these doors are not going anywhere. They're, they're really structurally put together really well. And then they latch down. These doors do lock. So if you're, you know, camping somewhere overnight, got stuff in the back of the trailer you can lock those up and then no one's going to be able to get in there so that's what the trailer looks like from the rear these are going to be your light switches so interior and exterior light switches are all here on the back over here on the head side you've got the drop downs so three drop downs, you even get the drop down where the escape door is. So I'll show you guys real quick, get this escape door open. So I like these escape doors because if you're only hauling two horses, you have a whole nother space to be able to, you know, store stuff. So bring extra hay and bring your shavings. All of that can go in that front because that stud stall acts as a, as a divider to not let anything roll underneath the horse's feet. So on these drop downs, so drop downs come down, and then you also have the ability to bring the jail bars down 
and that gives you the opportunity to check on the horses without having to go in through the back. So you can check, make sure they got food, offer them water. Um, and if you're stopped somewhere, I know some horses like to stick their heads out of the windows like dogs, so they could do that as well. And then it's just super easy to get it back through. These latch into place so they're not wiggling against your trailer while you're going down the road. They're gonna be stuck there. And then you do have the opportunity to open the window up as well and just have a little bit of airflow instead of having that whole thing open. So and that works on all three of those. They all work the same way. You've got another awning light up above and then three ties. So this trailer is gonna be sitting six feet, 10 inches wide. We're sitting seven feet, one inch tall. And then we are on the floor, 18 feet, six inches. And like I said earlier, it's got an empty weight of 3,230 pounds. Um, that gives you the opportunity to haul it with these lighter vehicles and still be able to haul around a three horse. So this is the, the Chevy Marlin's gonna be showing here shortly. It's a 2019 Silverado 1500 High Country. Guys, make sure you stay tuned to check this truck out because it is nice. Um, I hooked it up to this trailer and I was really excited because of how nice of a truck it is. Um, but make sure you, you check that out here in a little bit with Marlin. So this trailer, stock number on it is gonna be 5N201. 269 and it's a 2021 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. If you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers we have in our inventory, or if you've looked online lately, we've got a lot of stuff with drawings. That means all those trailers are on order. So if you're interested in any of them, please don't hesitate to reach out to myself or one of the team members. You can call me directly, call or text me directly at my cell phone at 970-218-5996. You can call my desk phone at 303 684 3451 or you can email me at morgan m-o-r-g-a-n dot noll k-n-o-l-l at transwest.com i look forward to hearing from you and look forward to doing business and i hope you have a great day